On call to order the February 7th, 2011 meeting of the East Central Gravity Drainage District. Uh, roll call of commissioners. Uh, Madam Secretary, let it be known that everyone's here except uh, Councilman Shake Snyder is out of town. Councilman Thompson's at work and Councilman Lohr has some illness in his family, couldn't make it. Everyone please stand for the invocation by Councilman Valentine and please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord God. We ask uh, wisdom on our meeting tonight, Father, that uh, you will guide each one of us, Lord, and that we will do the right things, Father. We ask blessings on our family uh, as we uh, enter this uh, end of the, the winter, Father. Protect and guide each one of us and keep us safe. And as always, Father, we ask protection on those that are on foreign soil uh, in the service of our country. And we ask all these things in your Son's holy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Valentine. <coughs> uh, just want to announce any public comment period. If anyone wishing to speak on any agenda item, please sign in with the secretary and you'll be given time to speak when that item comes up. Uh, additions to the agenda. Uh, the chair, we have a uh, next month's meeting on March. It's, uh, it falls right on the Monday of Mardi Gras. And uh, the chair would uh, entertain a motion for the, for the. I would move to put it on the agenda so we can discuss it. I'll second that. Okay. We have a motion by Councilman Valentine, second by Councilman Lambert, Todd Lambert, to move this to an agenda item. We'll move it down to. Agenda item 4A. We'll move on to agenda item number four, acceptance of the minutes of the January 10, 2011 meeting. So moved. A motion by Councilman Dempsey Lambert, second by Councilman Pat Bell. Any questions? No discussion. Motion passes. We'll go on to agenda item number 4A, the moving of the March meeting, 2011 March meeting. What we have is uh, we have an option, I think, on the next Monday, which is the 14th. Uh, with that in mind, Chairman, I'll move that we move the meeting to um, March 14th at oh. 6 o'clock. All right. We have a motion by... Mr. Valentine, second by Mr. Todd Lambert, that we move the meeting to March 14th, 6 o'clock. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries. On the chairman's report, it's just basically we're, uh, we're getting real close on some of our, uh, our main projects. Some of you guys have been working for a lot of years on, and, uh, on our main. And uh, we hope to be uh, getting some contracts out pretty soon on the Marvin Bro pumping station, as we'll see tonight, and also uh, moving forward on the Henderson Bayou project. We, uh, all our talks with the Corps of Engineers have been going good, and we, we'll constantly keep you guys on top of that. That's all I have on my report. We'll move on to agenda item number six, the drainage report, Mr. Rue. Yes, sir, and uh, I handed out my report for the month of January, and if you have any questions, be glad to answer. I'm just going to mention, uh, uh, reiterate the, the, uh, the main uh, projects going on and where we had a status of the Baldwin Bro pump station. We're going to start advertising on the 15th. Uh, the only thing left as uh, it's on the agenda tonight is the contract for mitigation units. We have that resolved or, or given to us by the Corps, and all we have to do is get uh, permission to uh, sign the contract on those mitigation units, and then we should be able to get the permit for the Marvin Bro pump station. So that's pretty much in hand. Uh, the Henderson Bayou project, we're feeling real good about it also. We should have something uh, from the Corps uh, for uh, mitigation uh, requirements by our next meeting in March. So we can proceed with that project, hopefully in March or April for construction. And again, the, uh, the, other, the only other thing are the major channel improvements 
and we are in the process of delineation of some of the Goudin and Muddy Creek uh, so we can proceed with uh, the maintenance of those two channels. And uh, the main thing on that, though, is the permits, and we're in the process of delineation of those reaches so we can proceed to construction. And again, if you have any, any questions, be glad to answer it either tonight or in the morning. One question. Any questions? Yes, Mr. Lamb, Todd Lamb. Yeah, Bill, I got one of my work orders that I'm looking at. It's been back fourth month of 2010 on uh, John Lambert Road behind Stephen Richardson property. Okay. So can you give me a status of why we still have that project? I know it's a sewer dish that needs to be dug to outfall. Off of, uh, we'll take a note, uh, Councilman, and uh, and I can give you a call in the morning with specifics okay. on it. Okay, I appreciate it. We have to pull the, the work order up and look okay. at it in more detail. I know where the issue is. I, mean, I think Alan, me and Alan have talked about it several times. Appreciate it. Any other questions? We're going to proceed this stuff. That's going to be limited right now. But we're in anticipation of getting Okay, that's all of my report, uh, Mr. Chairman. The only thing I want to bring up, uh, Bill, on uh, what we've been looking at on Marvin Brook pumping station on the, uh, the screens and all, we are. Uh, we are, we are planning on proceeding with uh, engineering of uh, the replacement or modification of those screens once we get uh, further along into the construction of the additional pump and, uh, pumps and, and bays at the station. We cannot do anything uh, with the screens until the completion of the additional pump. And then we're going to be taking one down at a time, coffer damming, taking one at a time down to renovate. So we have a good bit of time, at least a year and a half, before it's even possible to get to, uh, to uh, modification of those screens. And again, we, we're trying to get started with the Marvin Bro pump station. Now free up our time a little bit to get involved with the, uh, the after the renovation. Yeah, and basically we got about 18 months on total construction to finish up on that project. Yes, sir. I just, I guess why I bring it up is because I want to constantly remind all the commissioners that, uh, that undertaking is 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 not cheap. All right now we're going to we're going to dig into a budget somewhere. Yes, Mr. President. You know, those are about a million dollars a piece some areas, but anyway, uh, depending on what kind you do. Uh, I I have, I don't want to put Jake on the spot or anything, but he's here uh, on one of these on that Spanish Lake. I know they're in partnership there with Shaw. If, if we see if we got any kind of updates on that or any more information. Mr. Lambert, do you you mind to speak on that? Uh, you don't have to. I, I, I can give just a brief update. I spoke with uh, Les Waggis, Packet Shaw. Probably see him twice a month, at, mostly at the Punch Train Levy District meetings. And uh, as far as I understand, they are still working on some uh, uh, issues with, with the money in the project. Um, and I've communicated to them that they, they probably would be well served to come come give you all some updates but that's all the information I have I know that our segment of the project we've been complete since July which was one aspect of the project they had some environmental issues uh, regarding the Fish and Wildlife Service uh, comments that they received and I, I believe they're working on resolving those issues but otherwise I really don't have a whole lot no, update. no sir nothing new so still kind of in a holding pattern as I understand it. Yeah, I guess I guess some of the concerns of the commissioners is, are the same as the president is the fact that we have uh, it's a tri-parish issue yes, to the sir. point, um, especially, uh, you know, affecting like Mr. Valentine's district and uh, everybody on the northern part for sure as, as the council mm -hmm. or commissioners go. But uh, at, at some point we thought that there was, uh, was leading up to a possible and maybe less than them want to get a look, get it narrowed down a little bit more, and uh, run it past past the, the levy board mm -hmm. and uh, past Stephen and, and uh, all that gang. But at some point, the three parishes got to kind of sit down together and take a look at this. And uh, the communications I've had, um, which again I'm not the, the prime on the project, so I, you know uh, I'll give you some of the information that I have, but really 
that they're driving the project um, is uh, I know that Iberville Parish is, is still having some, uh, as I understand it, some legal disputes with the, the landowners uh, 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 of the Alligator Bayou, the, the Swamp Tour. And uh, I think that some of that should be resolved sometime during March. That's just kind of what I heard. Um, and uh, so possibly it, things could be moving after that. But I, I, again, I'm not sure. I know East Baton Rouge has been uh, uh, been uh, presented the information. I don't know where they stand, frankly, and uh, but but my communications with Iberville, um, I think they're on board with the project and, and are eager to see it see it move forward. Uh, so I would I would suspect that at some point, you know, once again, that the three parishes are going to have to sit down and obviously, uh, as I see it, <coughs> East. Uh, Ascension and Iberville are, are, are really eager to move forward, and I'm not sure where East Baton Rouge is. So there'll, there'll have to be some discussions probably along those lines. Thank you, Jake. And we know yes, you can't talk about anything, especially yes, something with possible litigation. But uh, uh, we can definitely get in touch with the Pontchartrain Levy District since it's going through them and see see what we got to do to set up a, set up something. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Well, I, I think at some point. We need to look at it and and kind of become realistic and, and maybe see. I mean, last time they came in, they talked about maybe a 10 years and their money deal, and uh, they didn't know if the funding was going to be in place or not. Basically, what I'd like to do is, if, if they keep continue saying that, is to look at some sort of project that we could possibly do, maybe just in partnership with Iberville as far as the locks, uh, both sets of locks, and see if we could do something in the near future that would, you know, if in the event that the long-term project would get gone, that it wouldn't maybe interfere, but, you know, maybe we could uh, we could do a little dredging there at the mouth and, and kind of open things up and uh, maybe look at the frog bio locks as I talked about earlier and uh, see if we could at least get an idea. I'm not trying to, 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 to make them move fast or slow or whatever, but, I mean, we... I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to wait 10 years to, to, to decide whether something's going to with the growth that we're experiencing now, and I'm sure Iberville will be more than willing uh, to work with us on, on those couple things that we could possibly do now sure. that we could look into. So We understand that also, but that, you know, like I said, is this something that we look, and I know Mr. Valentine talked about this several times, and you guys, it's just something that we want to talk to. Iberville talk to the PLD is something that, that they sponsor that we can do on the short term? I'll say uh, strictly from an engineering uh, aspect, uh, you know, there are several components to the, to the Shaw, uh, to, to the, the major study. There's some floodgates that, that, that they're considering. There's some dredging that's being considered. There's also uh, potentially a structure on, on Bayou Manshack. That's, that's another component of the project. But strictly from an engineering standpoint, you know, all of the preliminary uh, or a good bit of the preliminary work has been done. We know the parameters, we know the sizes, we, we've done some geotechnical investigation, we know, you know we're gonna need, uh, what we're going to need, we've got some survey work that's already been done, and you know, uh, strictly from an engineering standpoint, it wouldn't take a whole lot to move to the, the design phase of it. You know, all, all, all of the preliminary work has been done. Of course, as you all are well aware, a lot of times engineering is only the is the easiest part of a project. So, thank you, Jake. Yeah, yeah. The the roughest part is the money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's primarily, you know, b before they come. I I am I am a little um, bewildered on why it's taking so long for y'all to, mm -hmm. to to finish the, the situation. But I I know the the main part will be who shares and what the shares will be. And what percentage of each each uh, parish, and that's something that uh, we'll have to work out. As past president said, the frog locks are really ours. Frog by you, yeah. <clears throat> that's something we could go on, but we really can't go on that until we find out the scope of the whole project. And and of course, the, we'll have to come to some resolution with Iberville and Ascension Parish on. You know, we don't want to end up in the same situation. The locks is in Iberville, and we got to take care of it. Yeah. Although it affects most of our people, mm -hmm. uh, and we. I'm sure we won't control. We we need to work up something concrete, and I'm sure the parish president will work on that for us. Yeah. 
Well, this, like I said, this is something definitely that's right now within within the confines of an agreement and an engineering project on, on the Pontchartrain Levy District that we can surely petition them or call them, get in touch with those guys to give us some kind of update and kind of get it down to the narrow and see if there's some variables that can break off from the main and, and get something done for the, for the folks in a couple parishes anyway. Any, anything else, Mr. President? <coughs> Commissioners, and all right, we'll move on to agenda item number seven, purchase of wetland mitigation units for Marlboro pumping, pumping station expansion project. Mr. Roof. Yes, sir, we're asking for a motion to approve a contract between East Ascension Gravity Drains District Number 1 and Coastal Rental Corporation do, doing business as Timberton Wetlands Mitigation Bank, purchase of one acre of Cypress Tupelo gum, swamp mitigation credits, Required for the United, for the uh, Corps of Engineers permitting of the Marvin Bro pump station, at a cost of thirty-five thousand dollars, and authorize the past president to execute all documents. Chair would entertain a motion. We have a motion by Mr. Dempsey Lambert. Second, Se second by Mr. George Valentine. <coughs> Discussion. No objection. So moved. Agenda item number eight, uh, Manchac Consulting Group Supplemental Agreement number two, reforestation project. Mr. Roof. Yes, sir. Uh, we had an agreement uh, at the last meeting to extend a contract for advanced forestry for the planning, replanting of uh, canal banks along uh, two major channels. Uh, what we need to do is uh, actually issue a supplemental agreement to the construct to the engineering group that is managing this project and we have it presented here and what we like is a uh, approval to of supplemental agreement number two to the contract between East Ascension Drainage District number one and Manshack Cons Consulting Group for engineering and project management of the restoration uh, reforestation project back by you by Francois and authorize the parish president to execute all documents yeah Chair would entertain a motion. Second. Motion by Mr. And Pat Bell. Advice. Second by Mr. Dennis Cullen. Discussion. We have it in the budget. Yeah. Mr. Rudis pretty much narrows it down. Yes, sir. It's uh, the in the in, in the agreement, supplemental agreement number two, is for an additional forty six thousand three hundred and fifty dollars to them to take it till next year. And again, this is for management of the project. What they were paid for before is to get permits and uh, get the, the specifications and scope of work together agreement with, and agreement with the Corps of Engineers. This $46,350 is actually management of the project through next year. Where, where does that take us on the, we feel like the total project's going? Well, it, that's the completion of the reforestation. It's to complete that project. We'll be finished in, uh, by March of next year. Uh, they can't get the started with it until December of this year because sure. of the planning season. I understand the planning season. Total value, dollar value on this that we've moved uh, to. Altogether, uh, planning and engineering, probably 120000 Really a lot less than, than we anticipated. Great Much deal less. less. All right. So move, Mr. Chairman. A motion by Mr. Todd Lambert. Second by Mr. Pat Bell. Motion passed. Did I have a motion on that already? That's what I thought I did. I'm winding down my brain looking at this. Uh, I think I had a motion already. That's all right, Todd. <laughs> we'll, we'll, that one out. we'll catch you uh you we'll catch you on the next one uh we'll move on to agenda item number number nine additional dirt hauling 2011 contract renewal list and add mr uh, john tompley yes sir uh, this was left out from the list uh, that was presented to you at last meeting and uh we'd like to add his name to the list i'd like a motion to do so Second. We have a motion by Mr. Pat Bell, second by Mr. Dempsey Lambert. Any discussion? <clears throat> Any opposition? Motion passes. Agenda item number 11, authorize a professional service retainer uh, contract. Number 10, sir. Number 10. I number apologize. 10. Yeah, authorization to uh, 
advertise for bids. That's a good one. Marvin Bro Pump Station Expansion Project. Mr. Root. Yes, sir. Again, uh, we're hopefully we're going to start advertising the bids on the 15th. We should have a permit in hand by that time. And we're asking for authorization to advertise for bids. So moved, Chair. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Valentine, second by Mr. Benny Johnson. Any discussion? Mr. President. I just want to uh, thank uh, BKI and Henry Picard, who's here tonight, uh, for a job well done. In fact, when we went to the Corps, uh, they gave him some very good compliments on the way he handled himself and uh, on through the permit process. So sometimes we get on them, but uh, I just want to thank them for a job well done on this project. And finally going to get it out to bid, and uh, you know, it's a good project for us. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? All right. Any opposition? Motion passed. Now we'll move on to agenda item number 11. Authorization. Authorize a professional service retainer contract to Lamadola Construction for labor to make miscellaneous repairs to bridges and bulkheads. Mr. Roof. Yes, sir. We, we do not have personnel in, on, in uh, public works to take care of our bridges and bulkheads. Uh, what we are uh, like to do is offer a professional service contract for labor only to uh, Lamadola Construction for uh, maintenance of our bridges and bulkheads as needed. And again, this is uh, because of the, the way the ordinance is set up. It's uh, authorized for 50, not to exceed $50,000 unless we come back to the board. I'll second. We have a motion by Mr. Pat Bell, second by Mr. Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any opposition? motion passes before we move on to adjournment I just want to uh, I want to thank everybody on these major drainage projects it's been a long process we've got some that's fixing to hit the dirt uh, we appreciate everything and we hope to do some good for everybody in the parish and uh, we'll get some good projects down get some water moving we'll move on to agenda item number 12 motion to adjourn mr. chairman we have a motion by mr. Todd second. Lambert second by mr. Dennis Cullen in discussion, opposition, motion passed. We are adjourned.